Welcome back to more Seven Trials to Glory, everybody. All right, we are going to take on the next opponent, and that is my Valentine. And once again, you cannot use Wind Attribute Monsters for this one. To be honest, it actually wasn't that difficult. In between episodes, I actually just took out the Cyber Tech Alligator, and I put in the Fiend Mega Cyber, and that was like that was it. Yeah, because I mean, Wind is you know one of the least represented attributes historically so it's not a problem unlike darks of course okay so let's see here for this one I'm going to go ahead and start with activating the A forces I will also go ahead and set the trap hole and I will summon Gearfried with my 2000 attack Okay, a uh, simple set. Let's see what I can do now. I'm gonna go ahead and summon seven colored fish. And uh, I guess I'll just attack with Gear Free, sure. I was like, do I get greedy or not? Let's see. Ooh! Okay, okay. Uh, proceed to main phase two here. And set that. That's all I can do. But yeah, so my, you know, uses all these harpies and other winged beast type monsters, but obviously she can't in this duel. So she has to use some different ones. She's gotta get a little more creative, you know? Alright, so here's Fiend Mega Cyber. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now. Screw that. Alright, so you're at 26. Garefruit can now go ahead and attack this one. 22 and then fucking god damn it stupid nimble momongas I swear to god okay that's fine complete turn alright who just texted me let me see this message okay cool so now you got three monsters I'm gonna go ahead and summon another gear free And so the first two are Nimble Malongas. Let me go ahead and take care of those first. What do you have next? Giant Germ? Oh my god. I swear to god. Alright, Gearfried. You can go ahead and attack that one. And then the Fiend Mega Cyber is going to attack this unknown one. AKA this Giant Germ. I'm just kidding. It's not going to be a Giant Germ. It's a Witch's Apprentice. Oh my god. Dude, do you know how much destruction I've caused? And you still have 6 cards and 11,000 life points. Unbelievable. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and summon a Giant Red Sea Snake. I didn't summon Goblin Attack Wars because you're gonna go into defense mode and, you know, all that BS. Alright, Gearfried. Swing. Beautiful head Huntress, alright. That's fine. Alright, there is an attack for 18, and then Fiend Mega Cyber can swing for 28. So you might have had a lot of life points, but honestly, it's over now. I've gotten control of this duel, unless you do something next turn. It's your last chance. Okay. And that's gonna probably be it there. Um, I'll attack with Gearfried. Sonic made one, wow, that was so easy. Yeah, this tool is a lot easier than the Oh my god, the freaking tail one was like my god. I mean, they both were, you know, to be to be fair, they both were a little freaking like, what the hell, man. Alright. But yeah, it was a Tay and the Tristan one that have given me problems. The Bakura one was whatever, but... 
All right, so I did that one. Uh, so now I, it says, um, or it said, sorry, that I cannot use any spells. Wait, was it that one? Yeah, it was, it was. No, 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 traps, my bad, traps. Traps are banned. So, what I'm gonna have to do here for this one is, okay, well, I'm gonna rest in bed. I'm resting in bed so I can also see what cards are actually going to be forbidden or not, because now it's going to be the next week, you know? So I'm just skipping all the way until Saturday. That way I know, that way I'm completely certain of what's going to be happening. Also, can you actually sleep when it's a tournament? I've never even tried that. Like, if I press this... Apparently you can, but I'm not going to do it. Alright, um... So I can't use any traps. Okay, so let me go ahead and sort all this by attack. I mean, I don't really have that many. I have six traps. Spellbinding Circle, three trap holes, and two Sakuretsus. Which, again, it's perfectly fine. Um, I should probably go ahead and just offset that by spell cards. So let me go ahead and just put... Let, let me put my six best spells that I got. Um, you know, that's banned. <laughs> okay. That's banned too. I'll put in one D spell. Change of heart is legal. Mmm, block attack, share the pain. Do I dare? I do dare. Rush recklessly, that's fine. Okay, let's just get on with it. Fifth round. Trap cards are forbidden. Okay. So the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh rounds are much more difficult. Mainly because, first of all, the limitations are actually kind of a problem. Unlike the, uh, the other ones, like, you know, no win monsters. Oh man, that's so difficult. But this one is no trap cards. Definitely a lot more difficult, you know, because I do rely on trap cards a fair amount. But the thing that makes this even more bullshit is that for these last three rounds, the opponents, so Joey in this one, um, actually do not act, do not go through the, what do you call it? Like, they don't have to follow the thing, the limitation. Which is really strange to me, but whatever. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Do Name's Dark Witch. So that's a fissure, okay. Yeah, but that's, I'm just like, what the heck, man? Like, they can still play trap cards. What the hell? Okay, that's not good. You have a bunch of freaking beatdown monsters, I see. Oh my god. This duel's gonna be a bitch, I can already tell you. No trap cards and just a bunch of beat sticks. I have Goblin Attack Force, but... That shit ain't really gonna help. I'm gonna do, do Fissure. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this, to be honest. I really don't know. Um, it would help, of course, to have the A forces. That'll give me the 2000 attack with my 1800 beat sticks. Because, see, next turn I'm gonna die to a 1900 attacker. And then I'm back in the same situation as before. Or, actually, that's better in a way. But it's only buying me a turn. Hmm. That's kind of a shame there. Another gear fighter camp. Okay, saving my warriors in case I do get that card. So I'm going to summon a hysteric fairy. I don't know what I can do though, because I'm going to die next turn. This is going to be one tough duel, man. I can already tell you that. Oh my god. There's another 1900 beat stick. I don't know, I mean, it, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely challenging, yes, but... I mean, Tristan had the same thing. They just put 40 beat sticks in his deck. And now it looks like they're doing the same thing with... With you? Well, I have to summon Goblin Attack Force. But I'm running out of options here. 
If I can get an equip spell, that would be great, honestly. Because that can definitely make me beat over any of your monsters. But the duel is going to be very luck-based if I end up losing, because I'm going to have to just keep redoing the duel until I can actually draw the right cards that are... That'll make me be equipped. See, another, oh my god, that one does 1900 damage. But, at least you go into defense mode. Okay, come on, I need something good. Stop giving me this basic stuff here. Yes, that works, that works. Okay, the A-forces. But now I have to hope that you don't summon your own warrior, because if you do, I'm going to be back in the same situation again. Sadly. Okay. Oh my god. I can't even watch. Okay. You set. You set. He actually set. Can't believe it. Okay. Alright. Enter battle phase. Let's see. Let's see. Cave dragon? That's actually a really bad vanilla. Or vanilla, really. A really bad beat stick. I don't know why I said vanilla. Okay, I'm making a comeback here. If he just sets one more time, I think I got this. Oh my god. I think I got it. I think I got him. Yeah, because if I just summon you... That should be enough. Oh boy, is that battle... That duel is really difficult if you don't come properly equipped with certain things like the A forces because I mean man then again equip spells would also help a lot I'm just saying if you're having trouble with that I just suggest running more equips okay and then gear free at attack Alright, so that's it against uh, Joey. Next up is going to be against Yugi, and that one's going to be um, definitely a lot different. Oh my god. Alright. Yugi Moto. Using effect monsters is forbidden. Yes, so no effect monsters. I know, that's crazy. That's freaking ridiculous, I know. Alright. But I mean, I should be fine, right? I mean, I hope so. She's like, shit. Alright, let's just go ahead and keep doing our resting strategy. The one you already know about very well. There's also no point in even buying stuff right now, I'm just gonna wait because the cards that I'm looking for are effect monsters, so it's kinda pointless. Okay, let's edit the deck here. Um, so what I'm going to do is once again, we'll basically just filter all of this. Okay, so no effects. Jesus, that's like freaking everything in my tech. Oh my god. Look at all this. Okay. So I have to put in 23 cards. Hmm. Alright. Oh, also change your hardest band. By the, by the way, you know? Okay, so the first thing I will do... Is... I'm gonna filter. Traps. I'm gonna put in six traps. Three trap holes. And... Where is it? Three Sakuretsu armor. Okay. Um, I should actually probably put in another, a few more though because... Oh god. Um, what about... I thought about Time Seal, but I'll just put in like a Wabaku and... I'm not really sure. I'll put in that Spellbinding Circle again, I guess. Okay, so, actually no, I'm not going to do that, no. 
I think that's fine. Alright, so levels 1 through 4. Uh, by attack. Wait, can I actually filter? There we go. Normal. By attack. Okay. Putting in separate tech alligator. Uh, my second most powerful one tribute monster is Beast of Talwar, so I'll put in that one too. So that's two tributes. Everything else basically has to be a vanilla. Uh, whoops, a vanilla beat stick. So we're getting Gemini Elf. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. Eight beat sticks. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Is that good enough? I'm putting in one more. I guess. Okay. And then for... No, no, I, I need another one. No, there's no way. There's no way that's enough. You know what I could also do? Let me put a high defense monster. Maybe that might help. Okay. We're just gonna go with that. I know my deck is actually pretty freaking bad because... And here's why. I have the A-forces, but I barely have any warriors in my deck. So, like, that card is technically uh, just a, a waste, you know? Six round. Okay, so effect monsters are forbidden. Oh man. Okay. First or second? I will go first. Oh wow, look at this hand. Oh my gosh. Um, so here's the thing. There's a pretty good chance that they give this guy just a bunch of beat sticks again. I'm starting to notice a trend here and it's getting kind of old really fast, but... Let's see, it's probably gonna summon a Gemini Elf. Or a Force Raider. Yeah, because you know, Yugi is known for his Force Raiders. Alright, well... Let's see here. Oh wow, how amazing is that, right? Yeah, this duel is gonna take a long time to win, probably. Mainly because I have to actually draw spell cards to be able to have any sort of, you know, competing factor here. Or else I'm not going to be able to do shit to this guy. So, I mean, I'm, I'm doing the duel, of course. I'm going to play it out. But the starting hand was garbage because I got... My first seven have been vanillas. What? What the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not exactly sure why you did that. That actually sort of puts me back in this duel. Sort of. The keyword is sort of, not entirely, but... What the heck? But I mean, I'm pretty sure he has another 1900 beat stick in his hand. Yep. Of course. I just can't compete with this, you know? I, oh my god. I have a block attack, but that's not gonna help, you know? Yeah, this one's gonna take multiple attempts um, until I just draw the right cards. There's the A-forces. Um, let's see if this works. Nope, that's a magic jammer. Of course it is. I guess I should have done Fissure first, to be fair. Uh, so I can do block attack to kill one of these. I guess the Luster Dragon 2, if I had to pick. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Alright, so that one's dead. Um, I have one turn left, and it's going to depend on what he does and what most of what I draw. Because if I don't draw the right card, then it's completely over. 
Let's see. That's minus 12. I'm down to 14 now. Oh boy. Let's see here. I have to find a single trap, by the way. Fissure. Okay, the duel is technically not over yet. I'm gonna summon Exit Cannon. I have to attack the Aquaman door first. So here's the thing. He has two... He's gonna play with two cards in his hand. Is there a good chance he has a 1900 beat stick in his hand? Probably. But... Oh, whoops. But, um... By this point... It's my only option. Alright. Clear your field. It's all up to you. Whatever you do, Yugi. That's gonna dictate the duel here. Okay. And... Oh my god. He didn't actually have a monster. He had a dark hole, but not a beat stick. Unbelievable. But I'm still in this somehow. Oh my god. I can actually do this. I might actually be able to win this. Oh my gosh. Oh my... Did I really just... Thank you, game. What the hell? Actually, wait. He's Yugi. He might have a Karibo. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. What the fuck? How the hell did I just win that? I have no clue, but I'll take it. I lost. Pharaoh, I'm sorry I let you down. Congratulations, you made it to Saturday Finals. Your opponent will be Sato Kaiba. Also in the finals, using spell cards is forbidden. Okay, so no spell cards. Got it. Well, that's gonna be quite... Quite the thing, huh? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my home here. And let's go... We're gonna go ahead and rest up until next Friday. Damn. I seriously can't believe I did that. <laughs> I still can't believe that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So what I'm going to do... Is edit deck once again. Alright, so every spell card needs to be gone. This is going to be a really interesting duel. I can already tell you that. Okay. So... Well, here's the other thing. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all these fucking cards. I'm just keeping the trap cards. Because I have to completely redo this deck. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and sort everything by... Wait. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'm in the... Oh my god. There we go. Sort by attack. Alright, so let's see here, because I'm going to need some very good effects. Well, I'm going to start off with my typical Fiend Mega Cyber, two of those. Actually, I'm going to go to Goblin Attack Force again. So I have two Goblin Attack Forces. Okay. I'm also going to go ahead and put... I have a Giant Orc, too. I, I'm probably going to go with that, sure. You know what? No, no, let's not do that. No, no, let's do it. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna put in two Zombie of the Dark. And for these here, I'll put a Gemini Elf. And I will put in... Here, I'll put in Lajin. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. I need to definitely put a bunch of freaking... I'll put in... Three Gear Freeds, one Kaiku, one Dark Blade. I have too many Beat Sticks. Um, let's get rid of Giant Red Sea Snake. Yeah, I'm gonna need more powerful effect monsters if I want to have a shot at this.
Okay, we're gonna put in tribe infecting virus. What is this? One card from a great rider to no, that's garbage. Okay. Uh, Mahavilo. Why well, I, I don't have any. Sp no, that's no point. There's no spell cards, dude. All right, what's good from here? Maybe that. Sure, like before. Gale Lizard? Mm, I mean, I'd rather just run Penguin Soldier, to be perfectly honest. Dimension of Warrior, I'll put in that. That's Monster Removal. Marauding Captain? It works for this format, I'll do it. What about Deskawal? Oh my god. Sangan, that's limited. Okay, nothing really here. Penguin Soldier. I'm gonna put in two of those. Hmm, that's useless. That's for... Oh no, not Hane Hane. Uh, Old Vindicta Magician. I will do that. A uh, Magician that's useless. That's Magician of Faith. Um, maybe Crimson Ninja. Nah, it's fine. Okay, so I think that's it for that. So now the rest of my cards have to be trap cards. Alright, let's go ahead and filter. Traps. Alright, I'm putting Spell in Circle, putting the Gate Attack. Uh, do I dare put a reinforcements? Guess I'll do that. Time seal, yes. Let's go with that one. Ring of Destruction, yes. That one works. And... Hmm, not really a lot of good options here. Well, I'll just put in whatever. Let's go with, um... Something that's not horrible, like just desserts. Alright. Uh, so let's see how this works out against Seto Kaiba. Alright. Using spell cards is forbidden. Both duelists enter. Oh gosh. You're nothing but a breeze compared to my hurricane. What the fuck? Alright, who's going first, Kaiba? Okay. Duel. Okay, this is gonna be painful. Just watch. All right, so I got a gear-free Dimension of War giant orc. Um, okay, let's summon. Let's summon the giant orc. It says giant oak. That's funny. Okay, trap hole. That's kind of what I figured. All right, so for my first turn, I'm gonna go ahead and just set three. Sorry about these annoying prompts that are going to be coming up everywhere. It's going to be really annoying, I know. Archfiend Soldier. Okay. In the trap hole, that. But I will also... Change those desserts. So you lose a thousand, and then you lose your monster after. Okay, so that card, I don't know what the hell you're planning to do, but you're not flipping it. I'm not really sure why. Let's see if you have a mirror force, though. And it's a negate attack. Okay, that's not the worst thing. I at least keep my monster. Gemini Elf this time. Alright, thank god for another trap hole. But by this point, I am officially out of resources. Mostly. And the gate attack is not really anything crazy. Call the Haunted. Oh boy. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, let me draw. Sakuretsu. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna summon Dimensional Warrior. 
Dude, I already burned out all my resources, though. I really did. What the hell? Okay. Here's, here's an idea. If I ram into you with this, I take seven, we both get banished, and now I have protection from the next card that you tried attacking with, because obviously we know you're gonna summon a beat stick. I mean, I know I know the way these games work. Everybody now has 1900 beat sticks for whatever reason. I don't freaking understand why, but... Well, I mean, I do, we're trying to make it harder, but like, is that really the only way to make the game hard? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm officially out of resources, because all I have is a negate attack. That'll buy me one turn, and that's it. Oh my god, seriously? I'm not summoning Gemini Elf. Fuck that shit. I'm going to enter battle phase and just attack like this. Okay, that worked. Alright, so we know it's not a Mirror Force, but it could still be a Torrential Tribute or Trap Hole. Oh my god, he just said another one, dude. Enter battle phase. Is it gonna work? That's the mirror force, okay. Alright, uh, pursuit to main phase 2, yes. Let's summon Gemini Elf. That's the trap hole, fucking god. Okay, so I triggered both of his traps. And now he's setting another one. Okay, so it can't be a Mirror Force anymore. Okay, I can't do anything except just set this turn, sadly. This is an intense duel here, man. This is so intense. He's setting another one. Okay, oh my god, what if you have a... That's a Torrential Tribute, isn't it? Okay, regardless, I'm not going to do it right now, because I can't even attack directly with Zombie the Dark anyway, if I were to summon that. This, however, is fine. I will let that slide, because I have a Negate attack, and if you have a Counter Trap, that's fine. You use that, who cares? That's okay. You paid a thousand life points, and you're still going to get destroyed this turn with my old Vindictive Magician. So I should be able to do this. I mean, he does still have one card there. Um, but some marauding captain. Okay, here's the thing. Oh crap! I don't know. I don't know the way this ruling works. Does torrential tribute have to? Oh no, I may have fucked up. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Um. So we know it's not a Mirror Force, so I'm gonna attack. And it's a Magic Cylinder. Okay, that's fine too. That's actually fine. Oh my gosh, this freaking duel though is intense. Slate Warrior. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I got a plan. Ooh, we got a Penguin Soldier. What I'm gonna do his attack in main phase 1 with Zombri of the Dark because Zombri is going to lose life or not life points, lose attack after it destroys a monster. You're going to lose 700 from this Zombri of the Dark, but that's okay because I'm going to tribute someone in main phase 2. There we go. Okay. And then end the turn. Oh gosh. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Well, enter battle phase. We know, like, I mean, it can be a Sakuretsu armor or a widespread ruin. That could be deadly. Let's see. And it's a widespread ruin. Okay, that's what I figured. Alright, uh, main phase two. This is crazy. This is one of the most intense duels, man. Alright, um. Wait, I can do it now? I actually can, right? That way you don't draw? Oh, what the? He still drew. Whatever. Okay, well now he can't draw next turn. Okay. 
You got a Dark Blade now on your battle phase. Okay. Alright. Skip draw phase. Good. And now you can't do anything. Oh my god, that time slow just came in clutch. I just mini Yada locked you. <laughs> that's what it seems like. Alright, enter battle phase. And that's gonna be it right there. Oh, okay, so this video went for a little longer than usual, but I guess that's fine. I mean, it was a great ending to this tournament, this limitation tournament. This was my best deck. Well, too bad. I win. What do I get here? Oh, look at that trophy. You won the limitation tournament. 7,000 DP. Okay. And that's gonna be it for this episode. So, next time we will, I'll talk about what we can do from here on out. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like, I appreciate it very much, thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye everyone, have a great and of course a fantastic day.